Then without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to let the beatings begin. Just before we get started with the carnage here in the ring, we've got a few very few special people that we need to thank that made this show tonight possible. We need to thank Spectre Protection and Investigation. They are the gentlemen who are providing our security guards this evening. We also need to thank Signature Care Emergency Centers for providing the ambulance and keeping our athletes safe. They are the one necessity at ringside that we hope we never have to use, but we are thankful for their presence here tonight. Thank you to Signature Care Emergency Centers. We also invite you to visit our vendors in the lobby. We have craft beer served by Houston's newest craft beer brewery, Frost Town Brewing. I see the hometown crowd is in the house tonight. And of course, we have Lotus Seafood serving up some delicious Cajun cuisine. Also check out our vendor gear from Houston's original combat sports clothing label, Loaded Pistols, and our other merchandise sponsor, Pueblo Boxing. Now that we have expressed the proper appreciation for the people who make this show possible, who is ready for the carnage here in the ring? Coming first to the arena, please welcome Juan Perez. All right, guys, we have some uh, Juan Perez coming down to the ring right now. Big shout out to Reverend Bart Stewart for that amazing intro. If you know Bart, you know that you're going to get not just yeah. an intro, it's cinematic. Absolutely. Absolutely oh, cinematic. Still get out to y'all. Say I clock God, I clock back in. It's the city rap rap trend. Set the pass, everybody can't get in. Grimy ass game, everybody can't win. Some here to lose, bitches still choose. Pray every day, they everybody on the news. That's why I keep a two, case they want what the clues. Do this for my city and all the love that stay true. Being on the move, but the key is stay patient. Grind every day and keep that whole wall safety. Hit that shit short, boom, boom, no conversation. Hit the spot. I'm trying to move location. Being by the rules, abide by the code. These dudes that. And coming now to the arena, Warriors welcome for his opponent, Kanye Shi. So we have Juan Perez already in the ring, coached by David Martinez. And now we have Kanye G coming out right now. This is going to be an awesome fight. This is going to be a four round boxing match. So we're going to let, them, uh, let him make his walk down to the ring, and we're going to get this fight started. Guys, don't forget clearlifemedia.com. Hey, you guys, if you like a pothole, you guys, if you like a rare stroke, you did it with me, I'm not to tell you, but I feel why you got it in hand, so get the hell out of my face. This boy's gonna be making harder than so to my face, so I done told y'all before, I'm gonna cut out the way you want to be funny, but this ain't a stand, so you're gonna die by the name of the image, it's only gonna be on your rare you feel me. You wanna play with your people like this, and I get the love that you do for me. Guys, don't forget you're watching this live on Instagram right now for free, but if you want to see the rest of this card, make sure you go to clearlifemedia.com, $24.99 for a night of excitement, a night of amazing, amazing fights. Again, boxing, MMA, the best of Texas combat sports, brought to you right here by Clear Life Media. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your first bout of the evening. This bout is scheduled for four rounds of action in the featherweight division, sanctioned by the Texas Combative Sports Commission. Judges at ringside, Michael Morales, Kelly Isaac, and Randy Russell. Referee in charge in the ring, Joe Rodriguez. Introducing first in the red corner, seeking his first professional victory this evening. With a current record of no wins, no defeats, and one draw, weighing in yesterday at 124.6 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, please welcome Juan Perez. Big warm welcome from, from Juan Perez. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner to my right. A professional record of no wins and one defeat, looking to even it up this evening. Weighing in yesterday at 125.7 pounds, also representing Houston, Texas. Please welcome Kanye G. All right, guys.
guys. We have both competitors in the ring right now. Now, I was, I was talking to the guys in the restroom, Kanye's team, and they're calling for a first round knockout. Well, you know, it makes sense. I'm sure I'm sure they train hard for this and uh but Perez is obviously coming off kind of off the couch, so to speak. So uh, you know. Well let's kick it off. If G's been active, then you know it makes sense that they would They'd be confident in their fighter. Well, you got to come in confident. So let's see what these uh, two warriors have to offer. First fight of the night, Paradigm Combat Sports 2, live from the GHS Event Center in Houston. Perez comes out, throws a nice jab. Testing falls the a range. little short. Yep. Kanye with a body shot. Another one right there. Starting off sticking that jab to the body. Both Sharp. competitors feeling each other out right now. Sharp jab from G. I'm watching live on Instagram. Big shout out to our Instagram fam that's watching. Feel free to share this, DM it to somebody, and then make sure you go buy the, the full pay-per-view at clearlifemedia.com. Absolutely. Guys are picking up the action right now. Kanye and Mr. Pettis right there in the center of, uh, of the ring. No one really backing up, both staying in the pocket. Definitely a bit of a feeling out process from both fighters, trying to find their range with their jab. Good feints from G. That's one thing I, I am seeing a little bit more of from him than I than I have I've seen from Perez. Perez looks pretty comfortable, all things considered. I yeah, mean. he's pretty calm right now. He's not, you know, he's, he doesn't look flustered at all. He's take oh, nice little flurry right there from Kanye. Yeah, good combination. Landed pretty flush. Definitely got Perez's attention there. Oh, whoa! Ooh. Look at that flurry, ladies and gentlemen. Perez throwing a nice tight right hook in the, inside the pocket, getting his combinations going. Both fighters have effectively landed some combinations at this point. Absolutely. Nobody's backing down right now. Nobody's backing down, and nobody's really found their range either. Nobody's, uh, you know, established a rhythm in this fight yet. So, Colin, walk me through what a competitor goes through. He's coming off a loss, going against a guy making a debut. I mean, do you feel like you have the competitive advantage even with the loss on the record? What are your thoughts? I, I, yeah, you know, I, I got to think that's what Perez is thinking. He probably, he's, he told me in the back that he's been boxing since he was eight. Oh, big right hand. His team wants him to get on. Yeah, this is David Martinez, he, Martinez boxing. They oh. think he have him hurt. Slip, I, I don't know if that was a little slip or a head clash, what just happened there, but Perez, you know, had him on the ropes, kind of let him get out of there. Sounds like uh, David Martinez wants, wants his fighter moving forward. Yeah, getting Martinez in the pocket. boxing, well, well represented here in Houston. Absolutely. Coach David, you see him all over the place, all over social media, great guy. So I'm wondering what Kanye's uh, team is uh, calling out to him. Obviously, we can't hear that corner. No, but oh. he's doing a lot of things right. He's hitting the, he's hitting the jab to the chest, trying to bring uh, Perez's hands down to the middle so he can open up a shot to the head. He's establishing his range. Good feints. Perez has Kanye up against the ropes right now. Kanye coming back with a left of his own. 10-second marker right now for the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a four-round boxing match that you're watching live on Instagram, Clear Life Media. Make sure you go to clearlifemedia.com, watch the rest of the bout, the rest of the fights. Good competitive first round. I felt like it was pretty back and forth. I think uh, G is definitely the, the more technical, probably better boxer. But uh, Perez landed a few good combinations, and he was moving forward the whole time. You know, uh, hard to tell what these judges are looking for, but, uh, you know. Well, as much as we love the Athletic Commission of Texas, you know, we all know that you can't just, you know, let them make those decisions for you. You got to decide for yourself and then make sure, it, you know, doesn't go those uh, decisions. Right, right. You definitely don't want to uh, leave, leave any questions out there. You know, for, and this being a four-round fight, this isn't a, a fight that you can really stack no, rounds. absolutely not. So, you know, I think that first round is typically a feel-out round, you know, probably for these lower-level boxers. But, you know, I expect to see the, the pace to really pick up in these next two to three rounds. Absolutely. I think, I think that's how you're going to determine who, who's going to win this fight. Guardy, how are we looking on Instagram, sir? Man, Instagram is rocking. Thank you guys for taking the time to tune in. Um, you know, we had some questions. Someone said, hey, when's Rodriguez fighting? So this fight's coming up next. Yeah, so we have Mike Rodriguez coming up in the next bout, but don't forget Ivan Rodriguez in the main event. So we do have a couple here, but here we go with round two of the action. Oh, oh big woo! right hand to open the round from Perez. Boom. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Just, wow, these guys oh, are just standing toe-to-toe -to -toe slugging. 
Oh, what an exciting way to fight, start this I night. I mean, come on. This, if this is any indication of what the rest of the card is going to look like, we are in for a night of fun. This fight picked up where the last card just left off. I mean, Paradigm Combat Sports bring you the best in combat sports entertainment here in Houston, Texas. Absolutely. I love the boxing and MMA uh, combination there. It's fun going back and forth. Yeah, it absolutely yeah. is. It's something for everybody. Absolutely. God, what a great way to start that round. Nice flurry combinations from both fighters. I don't even know who I'd say got the better of that. I'd, Kanye ADG. looks. Yeah. Kanye looks to be pressing the action a little bit, you know, coming forward, walking Pettis back, but Pettis coming back with a right hand. Pettis is not afraid to stand there and just trade shots, though. I don't think either of, either of them are. I mean, no. they're staying pretty tight right now in the pocket. G's being a little bit more disciplined, staying on his boxing, but definitely Perez is, is making a fight of it, you know? I'd say G is, is probably starting to pick, pick him apart from the outside, which is probably not what his team wants. Uh, Perez's team, that is. Oh, another big right hand from Perez. G does not look like he, he likes the power that he's feeling. I think he really needs to stick to that jab. Yeah, keep him at the end of those shots. Exactly, he's been serving him well thus far. Yeah, I think the jab is the key to this fight for G. You know, he, he can't take too many of those right hands. Going to the body right there for Kanye. And Perez, you know, coming off the couch, you know, maybe working the body with those jabs is, is probably the way to go. Good counter right hand from G. Guys, don't forget that we're coming at you live on Instagram, but we will be going to the pay-per-view stream right after the spout. You can check us out at clearlifemedia.com. $24.99 for the pay-per-view. Now, again, you can hear David Martinez and his team. Ooh, oh. good combination landed by KG. Wow. Sharp left hook, sharp right hand right behind it. Nice left hook in the yeah. pocket. Connie's coming back with that left right there. Yeah, he's starting to find his round and start, or range, and he is starting to pick uh, Perez apart from the outside. Perez needs to walk forward, get inside, and start making a slugfest of this. Guardy, how's the uh, crowd responding to us on Instagram about this first bout? Yeah, they're enjoying it. You guys, if y'all are enjoying this, make sure you let us know. Feel free to leave some comments on this live stream. I want to give you a shout out. And th for those of you guys not familiar with the rest of the fight card we have, uh, I did a lot of the matchmaking on this card. I can tell you right now, if, if this fight excites you, we've got a very exciting night of fights. You know, I'm excited about the next bout. You know, we have David Armas on the card. David, I mean, if you know anything about Houston MMA, he's been around from the early silverback days. You know, rest in peace to his old coach, Coach Tony. And, you know, the way he's evolved into boxing and teaching kids boxing, he's a passionate individual. He's coming off of a loss personally. You know, we all know Jason David Frank. You know, we really we recently lost him and David and uh, Jason very, very close. So you got to wonder what's going on in Armis's head. But uh, I can assure you that it's going to be all business. And uh, I think he's going to dedicate this one to JDF. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, I am too. I actually, uh, my third amateur fight, I fought David Armis. And we had a war. That was my first two fights I won in, in about 30 seconds each and really wasn't tested very much. And then I fought David Armis in my third fight. And to this day, he gave me the hardest fight I've been in oh, wow. ever. Period. I, I had to dig really deep to get that that W that night, and uh, David has remained as, as tough and as resilient as ever. Absolutely. Well, we got a lot of respect for him. He's going to be coming out in bout number two, which will be on the pay-per-view stream on ClearLifeMedia.com. Let's get back to the action right now. We have Kanye G, of course, versus Juan Perez. Round number three about to commence. I think Kanye is starting to pull away from this uh, with this fight. You know, he I think he definitely clearly won that last round may have won the first round. It was, it was The first round was definitely a little more competitive, a little closer. Woo! Oh, right away. Man. Better is getting right in there. Well, these these boys are letting it fly. Man, look at that. Staying tight in the pocket. Nobody is retreating right now. Not at all. And you hear David Martinez, don't back up. Don't back up. Back up. Go forward. I kind of want to get him on the mic right now just to kind of feel him out, you know? Well, if you, if you know David Martinez, he's a passionate guy, bas passionate coach. Um, loves his, uh, loves his uh, team, teammates. Absolutely. His students, rather. Yeah, trying to will his guy to a victory here. Definitely Juan's going to have to dig deep to get, to get this victory. I think he, he may have to knock Kanye out at this point. Well, I think at the rate that we're going, we will see Ooh. a knockout. Yeah, Kanye's really picking it up, starting to land his combinations. 
Uh, that jab is, is landing at will, and he's stepping in behind it and just launching wow. combos, going, going to the body, going back up to the head. Perez is definitely starting to slow down here. Martinez calling for Mart uh, Perez to go to the body. Let's see how he, how he listens to his coach, see if he uh, drops those hands and goes to the uh, solar plexus. Oh, uh, just open Perez's nose. We have the first blood of the night. Didn't take long. Colin, how hard is it to hear your coach whenever you're in the middle of a fight? Man, you know, to be honest with you, in this, in this arena with David Martinez in your corner, probably not that hard. <laughs> Uh, you can hear you can hear pretty well, but you know typically you're you're pretty laser focused. So. I think you're also on autopilot in the sense of listening because you've been you know in, the, in your training, you know you're so used to, you know what your coach is going to tell you. You've worked those positions, you know you put yourself in those bad spots, and uh, but yeah, I, I can only imagine how hard it would be to listen to your coach in an event like this. Well, not only that, but sometimes your coach can't always see what you're seeing or, or he can't feel what you're feeling, so. Uh, you know, even if you do hear your coach, it, it doesn't always translate. Man, it, it is clear uh, Juan Perez does have a very good boxing background. It's kind of a shame that he's uh, coming off, kind of coming off the couch or rehab, because uh, he's putting up a really good fight here. Nice little flurry, though. Uh, Kanye stayed covered up with that. Absolutely. And, and I love how calm he's staying. You know, he's taking tough shots, but he's staying in this fight, staying tight in the pocket and uh, throwing good combinations back at, at uh, Kanye. Yeah. Kanye getting through the gloves of uh, Betis right now. Definitely. Start, started the round off really strong, really kind of on fire. Uh, he's kind of slowed it down. I think he feels like he's comfortably ahead in this round. Uh, probably just kind of coasting to the end of this round. Ooh. I don't know if it's a good, good idea, though. Ooh. Perez can throw it. That, that right hand by Perez has been landing all night, and it, it it's been hurting Kanye. Man, you know, so you, as you mentioned, Pettis has his nose opened up right now. We're coming to the fourth and final round. This is where it counts. This is where they need to make it happen. Absolutely. I, I think at this point, Kanye is pretty comfortably ahead. He's at least two. He's at least up two to one. Uh, you know, I think Pettis probably needs a knockout in, in order to win this fight. Absolutely. Well, it's going to be fun. Let's see where uh, where we're going with this. Well, what's exciting for me about it is that he has the ability to do it. It's clear. He's been landing that right hand, and, and his left hook has been landing as well. Really tight, really short in the pocket. If he can get inside and get Kanye throwing with him at the same time and just be a little shorter than him, man, he may be able to find that knockout shot. I think Kanye needs to be really disciplined this round. He needs to stay on his jab, keep him at the end of the range, and, uh, you know, maybe not force a knockout, maybe just kind of you know, close to, close to a victory here. You know, but can't get lazy either. No, can't you can't. get lazy. Well, we're about to find, we're gonna wrap it up right now. Nice show of sportsmanship between the competitors. No uh, love lost there, no bad feelings, rather. Oh, uh, right, I mean, come on. I mean, wow. come on. Clearly, David <laughs> Martinez has gotten his head. Wow. So you need to let the hands go, buddy. Are you he guys is. Are you guys watching this? This is incredible right here. These guys know it's the final round. They know they got to make something happen with a knockout. I don't know. I mean, if this goes to the uh, judges, <laughs> how do you call this fight? Uh, definitely Kanye is, is outpointed Perez, but yeah. Thrilling fight, to say the least. Juan Perez earned his paycheck tonight. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, I, I've got incredible respect for this guy. I mean, uh, you know, ha having gone two years without a fight and then just recently coming back for one more, you know, I know the level of dedication it takes. I can't even imagine being in a, in a terrible car accident. Uh, gosh, it, it's really hard to just commentate because yeah. these guys are just standing there toe-to-toe, -to -toe, just yeah. letting the hands fly. And they might as well, you know, have both of their foot in the tire. That's how close these guys are. I mean, exactly. This looks like the tire drill that you do in, in a boxing or MMA. Oh, oh, big right hand by Perez. Definitely got Kanye's attention there. Oh, and Kanye is throwing oh. back. Kanye is. Wow. Oh Driving him into the ropes. Bet is trying to tie up right now to get some breathing room, get a separation from the ref. We got, we're down to the last minute and 38 seconds. Unbelievable night of action so far. I mean, we, this is the first fight of the night. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. My Instagram people. What are you doing? <laughs> ClearLifeMedia.com. You see this now for free, and if you don't buy this pay-per-view, I, I, I don't know what you're doing with your life. And guys, these are debuts, okay? Or, or 
oh, uh, you know, guys right. with one Early. fight on their record, you know. The, <laughs> we have really experienced guys coming up uh, with some really exciting backgrounds. This, this is just going to be a great night of fights. I'm, I'm really excited. Absolutely, Colin. We're coming down to the last minute of the bout right now. If you're just tuning in, I'm Adam Villarreal alongside Colin Wright and Gardy Garcia, live from the GHS Event Center and what otherwise should have been a cool Houston uh, night here in winter, but it's hot as hell, just like these fights. <laughs> That's right. I think Perez is probably saying he's got about 45 seconds Ooh. left. It looks like he's pretty tired. I think he's probably saving it up for maybe one last. One last flurry? Yeah, he's trying to He'll probably empty the tank the last 30 seconds or so. Yeah, you can see the wear on his face right now. Again, you mentioned the nose and then under his, looks like he's got a mouse under his right eye. Well, that jab from Kanye has been working exactly. all night. It's that, been finding its target. Yeah, and he's really doing a good job of turning his knuckle into the face, uh, which causes that damage, you know, that swelling and, the, and those cuts. Um, but Perez is really making a fight out of this. This is a really exciting fight. Oh! Great body shot Did by you Perez. Hear that? Oh, man. Last 10 seconds here. These guys are just going to stand toe to toe and throw. Nice. Unbelievable fight. What a, man, what a way to start the night, Adam. Absolutely. We're going to take it to the judges and see where we stand. We'll be right back with some more. Guys, don't forget that we have Mike Rodriguez and David Armas coming up next. So right now, uh, they're going to take this, uh, calculate the judges' decisions and see who we have. So if you are watching on Instagram, I see some people. I know it looks like the Kanye had a bunch of fans watching and people that thought that he won. And so people are asking, hey, how can I watch this? It's $24.99 on clearlifemedia.com. Also, we have discount codes. And you can even go look at some of the, the reels that we put up. And we put the discount codes in there so you can save some money. Feel free to support a local fighter. Absolutely, and we, we have a really exciting night of fights. I just want to talk about some of these fights while we've got a moment. Uh, I, I, I ended up billing Demas Chapa and Gabriel Wanderlei. That fight is so exciting. Both of those guys were 6-1 and one and 7-1 and one as amateurs. They were both champions in, in their respective organizations. Demas Chapa comes from, has great hands, uh, really good kickboxing. He, he, he has a, a high school wrestling background and he's a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Gabriel Wanderlei is the number one ranked purple belt in the entire world in his weight class. That fight is so exciting. He's seven and one as an amateur. He has a bunch of submissions on his record. Demas Chapa, I feel like, has an answer for pretty much everything Gabriel's gonna do. That fight is so exciting. We got Mike Rodriguez versus David Armas. As I mentioned before, I made uh, my, my third amateur uh, fight against David Armas. He's still fighting. Mike Rodriguez is a good teammate of mine, been fighting forever, has a, a deep MMA background as well, and uh, that's gonna be a really exciting fight. Just, a, just an entirely stacked card all the way to the top. Um, so definitely don't wanna miss this one. Jump on that pay-per-view, guys. And we had the opportunity to talk to the, the fighters at the weigh-ins, and we just could ask them, hey, what are some interesting facts about you guys? And these guys, you know, outside of fighting, they're really, interesting people and they're like i don't do anything and i'm like and then we start asking a couple questions and it's like oh yeah right. they've done all they're like i have a master's degree and i'm a teacher and i do this and i'm like that's well, it's crazy D demas chapa for example perfect example his nickname is the chef he works at a really nice restaurant uh he, he's got a huge following on TikTok. uh you know does incredible steaks i mean like you, you wouldn't even believe the steaks this guy makes so. fighters to the center of the ring please fighters to the center of the ring for the announcement First of all, boxing fans in the house, man. You guys enjoy that first bout? <laughs> guys left it all right here in the ring. After four rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. All three judges at ringside. Michelle Morales, Kelly Isaac, and Randy Russell score them out. 39-37 for your winner by unanimous decision. Kanye G. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Mr. Kanye G. Kanye, I talked to your father. I talked to one of your teammates. They said this was going to be an easy fight for you. Tell me a little bit about what was going through your head in this first round. First round, man, 
the first the first punch he threw, I was like, man, yeah, this is gonna be light. And it was just that I need to get my power down. I, I need to work on everything. Like literally everything. But it, it, it wasn't really a hard fight. Like it was it wasn't it was like sparring to be honest with you. Talk to me about those flurries. You guys were staying tight in the pocket. I mean you were both taking shots. What was this power like? Oh it it, it wasn't nothing. It, it wasn't nothing I it wasn't nothing really, because the people I spar, I spar with Shock, Miguel Flores, I spar with all of them. They all, they all got power. He ain't nothing compared to them at all. Well, let me ask you, Kanye, what's next for you? I know this crowd's excited to see you again. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I know, I know that is. Next, the next thing for me is all my manager and my dad and all my coaches. It's whatever they want to do. Awesome, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Kanye G.